Let's now take a look at the site that has been created. I'll refer to these pages as the front end. Joomla sites are displayed using a file called a template. A lot of beginners end up using one of the three templates supplied with Joomla. You could also install one of the hundreds of templates available from professional developers or have a unique template design for you. I'll tell you a bit more about this in Lesson 11. There are two aspects of a template to consider. Firstly, there's the actual design, which includes elements such as the logo here, the colours, the fonts, number of columns and so forth. These are primarily controlled by the template file and, something more advanced developers would be familiar with, cascading style sheets. The second aspect to a template is positions. Think of a template as a bunch of boxes. Each piece of content needs to be placed inside a box. Joomla calls these boxes positions. These positions are determined by the template designer and therefore vary from one template to another. When a particular page is requested, Joomla sticks all these boxes together to form a complete page. Every piece of content that appears on a page has been assigned to a position. I'll show you how to view the positions available in a template in Lesson 11. For now though, I'll overlay some boxes on the default Joomla template to give you an idea how this particular template is constructed. Firstly, there's the main body position, which needs to be present in all templates. This particular template has a position here called left, and another one here called right. Down the bottom is one called footer, and beneath that, another one called copyright and various other positions at the top. The second point to understand with the front end is modules. There are two types of content that appear on a page and I like to refer to these as primary content and secondary content. Your primary content are your main articles and these appear in the main body position of the page. Secondary content items appear in other positions. Now, each position can contain more than one piece of content. For example, in the left position we've got three menus and a login form. That's four pieces of content. Each one of these pieces of content is called a module. There are various types of modules included with Joomla and I discuss how to incorporate them into your site in Lesson 9. But let's have a quick look now. In the top position is a menu module that provides links to other pages. I've already mentioned these left modules. The last one provides an ability for registered users to log into the site to view additional content. These advertisements in the footer position are rotated automatically using a banner module. The top modules display the latest articles and popular articles. In the right position are polls, who's online and some text ads. There are additional modules built into Joomla and hundreds of third party extensions available. Note also that modules can be assigned to all pages or just pages that you specify. These concepts will make more sense as we start to use them, but let's look at a quick summary of the front end. Joomla pages are displayed as a result of a file called a template. Templates consist of design elements and positions. Modules are assigned to positions. They can contain text just like a normal article or they might provide specific functionality such as a menu or a banner ad. In the next lesson I'll give you an overview of where you control your site and its contents, the Joomla Administrator. These lessons are also available in a workbook that you can download and print to help you set up your site more easily and quickly. Click on the link below this video for more information.